This is ESP 8266, which was released back in August 2014 and changed the game for IoT by making it easy and affordable to add Wi-Fi to projects. It became super popular among makers because of its versatility. But fast forward to 2024, and with the newer microcontrollers offering more features and better performance, does the ESP266 still hold up against its competitors? Let's remind them. Both the ESP8266 and ESP32 share the ability to connect to Wi-Fi through their 2.4 GHz built-in modules. Picture yourself setting up a project that fetches data from the internet or host a local web page, all without needing any extra components. While this is second nature to both boards, Arduino boards like Arduino Uno and Arduino Nano don't have built-in Wi-Fi. You would need to add an additional Wi-Fi module increasing both complexity and cost. Hardly ideal for quick and budget-friendly projects. Of course, the ESP32 steps up the game with its dual-core processor and built-in Bluetooth, making it a powerful choice for projects that need speed, multitasking, or device pairing. But for straightforward Wi-Fi needs, the ESP8266 remains a strong contender. However, there is a catch. The ESP8266 operates at 3.3V, which can be a headache for projects involving 5V sensors. Take the HCSR4 and IR proximity sensor for an example. To it up directly with ESP8266 could damage the board. A logic level converter solves the issue, but that's one more piece in the puzzle. On the other hand, Arduino Uno and Arduino Nano with their 5 volt logic work seamlessly with this sensor. Let's dive into power efficiency because in the world of IoT, power consumption is critical. ESP8266 is known for its low power consumption, especially in its deep sleep mode. Imagine a battery powered device that only wakes up when needed, perfect for energy conscious projects. But as you might guess, the ESP32 has even more advanced power management features, including an ultra low power coprocessor that handles complex power saving tasks. With that being said, the ESP8266 still strikes a great balance for simpler setups where power efficiency and budget matters most. When it comes to processing speed, the ESP8266 still holds up well. At 80 MHz, it's 5 times faster than Arduino Uno, though it's easily outplaced by 240 MHz of ESP32 for more demanding tasks. But for many IoT applications, the ESP8266 speed is more than sufficient. Now let's talk about GPIO pins. The ESP8266 offers 17 GPIO pins, but it is not as straightforward as it seems. GPIO 6 to 11 are reserved for internal flash memory, meaning they are off limits for your projects. However, pins like GPIO 4, 5, 12, 13, and 14 are fully usable, with GPIO 16 even available for tasks like deep sleep wake up. This gives you decent flexibility. Though the ESP32 and Arduino Uno offered more GPIO freedom, one area where the ESP8266 still kills in its affordability. Even in 2024, it remains one of the cheapest Wi-Fi enabled microcontrollers on the market. You can grab one for the fraction of a cost of ESP32 and still get a solid performance. And though Arduino boards are also affordable, the cost can quickly climb up when adding Wi-Fi modules or other components. When it comes to analog input pins, the ESP8266 lag. It has only one analog input pin which can be limiting if you are working with multiple sensors that need analog reading. The Arduino Uno and Arduino Nano offer 7 or 8 analog pins, giving you much more flexibility. The ESP32 meanwhile with multiple analog inputs and a 12-bit ADC is built for more precise readings. For beginners, Arduino boards have always been the default choice because of their simplicity, robust community support and ease of use. But if you are ready to step into wireless projects, the ESP8266 offers a more affordable option, though you will need to get comfortable with logic level converters if you are working with 5V sensors. So as we stand in 2024, while the ESP32 and Arduino boards offer their own advantages, the ESP8266 is still a worthy killer in its own. If your project needs reliable Wi-Fi, decent processing power and energy efficiency on a budget, the ESP8266 continues to offer a great value. It's the perfect middle ground between ESP32's raw power and Arduino's simplicity. Still a smart choice for creators and subscribe for more such exciting videos.